Cause you're an asshole, you're an asshole, that's right, you're an asshole, you're an asshole, yes, yes, you're an asshole, you're an asshole, that's right, you're an asshole, you're an asshole. Hi, welcome to episode 25 of Rage Against the Wretched. I'm Ed. And I'm Pavel. And here we go. We are talking about people, places, and yes, even things that are assholes. Number one on the list is babies and small children. They can be assholes. Everyone thinks that babies, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Well, you know something? There are ugly babies out there. Yes, there are. People don't want to admit it because they don't want to be assholes themselves. But they're not being assholes. They're being truthful. If you see a fucking ugly baby, you should gasp and go, Oh my God, what a horrifying baby. Maybe these fucking people would stop thinking that children are so fucking special, yeah. stupid cunts. Yeah, just like the Seinfeld episode. Exactly, exactly. Except they thought that baby was just hideous, not an asshole. Yeah, but still. It seems, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. Gasp. They, they yeah, all gasp. I gasp every time I see an asshole baby. You know what makes a baby an asshole? Babies who just, they all they do, they fucking bitch and they whine, they complain and they wah, 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 wah. They fucking, you're standing in line in the fucking store. All they do is fucking scream. They want something. They're tired. They're hungry. They want to go home. Jesus Christ. God damn it. They want a piece of fucking candy. You know something? Or on a plane. On a fucking plane, you're trapped in this giant metal flying tube with this asshole fucking kid or baby sitting behind you, sitting in front of you, kicking the back of your seat, sitting next to you, whatever. They fucking a couple seats up and you can yeah, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. They're assholes. Fucking, they're pissing and they're shitting and they're crying and they stink and they're fucking awful. They're just fucking awful. So, that's that's as far as I can go with babies before I just go on a fucking to a goddamn fucking rage other thing is just people people in general all my neighbors all assholes 75 year old rock stars people i saw back in the fucking 80s when they were 30 now they're 75 they're bald they have gray hair they can't remember half the fucking words they can't play the guitar anymore. What the fuck? You're 75. Just shut up and retire already. We're all fucking... We go to see you because we feel bad for you. That's why we go to see you, 75-year-old rock stars and whoever the fuck you are. Jesus Christ, hang it the fuck up already. You don't have an idea for a second career? Jesus Christ. People with socks and sandals. If you wear socks and sandals, let me just tell you something. You are an asshole. You're a fucking asshole. The Kardashians. My 600 pound life. The Chrisleys. Actually, all fucking reality stars. You're all assholes. All of you. You're all fucking assholes. Yep. Okay, so that pretty much does it as far as people are concerned. Okay, we're trying to make this pretty quick. Just give you a, a rundown on assholes. In case you're not well-versed in asshole terminology or who really is an asshole, what's an asshole, because the next thing is are things that are assholes. Yes, things can be assholes, such as houses, McMansions, okay? You live in a neighborhood, I'm sure now everybody lives in a fucking neighborhood, but if you live in the suburbs, did you ever notice Everybody's got a regular house, regular house, regular house. All of a sudden, you have this big, giant, fucking $4 million house in the middle of a regular neighborhood. Like a little fucking McMansion. Now, that house is an asshole. Totally. I fucking hate it. People with porches on their front of their houses. Why the fuck do you have a porch in the front of your houses? Isn't that why you moved to the suburbs so you don't have to sit in front of your house and look at your neighbors? Fucking God damn it. Why don't you put, why don't you put the porch in the back? Fucking hang out in the backyard. That's why you moved from the city. God damn you, you fucking stupid cunts. You fucking understand this shit? I don't. Yeah. Look at goddamn neighbors. Jesus Christ. Houses that take up your entire fucking property. Yes, that's why I bought a house. So I can have it go right up to the goddamn street. If that's the fucking case, I'll move to Manhattan. 
So, yeah. you know, and then... So you don't have a yard or a lawn. Yeah, and if I live in Manhattan, I don't have to talk to the assholes because that's another thing. As far as people are concerned, what the fuck is it? The difference between socialization in the city and socialization in the suburbs. If you live in the city and you go out of your apartment and you try to speak to your neighbor, they're going to look at you like you have two fucking heads because people don't speak to each other in cities. They, th- they think you're insane if you talk to you know, one of your neighbors. Yeah, you know, I've true. been living here for 20 years. I still don't know who the people on my floor are. But when you come out to the fucking suburbs, all of a sudden, you're the asshole if you don't want to talk to your neighbors. I'm considered an asshole because I never talk to my fucking neighbors. As a matter of fact, I look at my front door before I even walk out so I don't have to talk to an asshole. Jesus Christ. Next thing, cars. Cars can be assholes. Cadillac Escalade. Uh, a souped-up 1995 Honda Civic with the fucking muffler taken out and, and those stupid fucking wheels that they put in the back. The, the suspension's all fucked up, and they're all fucking like this. With, and, they put, and, they, and they sound like... It's a fucking Honda Civic. Get the fuck over it. If you can't afford a sports car, go fuck yourself. You're an asshole, too. Smart cars. Those are fucking stupid. GMC Pacer. It was a goddamn fish tank. Jesus Christ. Why don't you get into an accident with that? Just shred yourself with all the fucking glass. If you own one of those, you're an asshole too. Furniture. Okay? That's another thing that could be an asshole. You ever see those giant leather sectionals? They have cup holders and pull-down tables and USB ports. What the fuck? Are you that goddamn lazy? All this shit needs... All this fucking sofa needs is a porta potty and and a vending machine. You'll never have to get up out of the fucking couch. You'll never have to get up off the couch. Nope. You all you gotta do is sit there with your fucking laptop, apply for fucking welfare. You don't even have to get up to go to work anymore. You could fucking have the mailman bring the fucking check in, take a picture of it with your phone, deposit it. You'll never have to yeah, leave that's again. True. You can make all your fucking food. You have all your food delivered with your phone. You never have to get up again, you lazy motherfuckers. Jesus Christ. Another fucking thing. Even things like coffee cups with corporate logos. I love my cat. I love my dog. I love this. I love that. You know something? Nobody fucking cares about what you love. No one cares. Nobody fucking cares. Nope. You, who, I love ferrets. I don't who cares if you love fucking ferrets. You love ferrets, that's delightful. Nobody else needs to see your cup. Yeah, say, to, look, to, my, my yeah. mark has an owl on it. Yeah, nobody fucking cares. You really fucking care that I love Starbucks? No. I don't fucking care that I love Starbucks. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Another thing, people who buy fake plants. Why the fuck do you buy fake plants? Real plants are readily available, especially people who put fake plants and fake flowers outside their houses or in window boxes, even in the city. Plants are available. What the fuck? Are you so fucking stupid or so lazy that you can't even water a goddamn plant? So before you go out and buy plastic and metal plants... Don't bother. Don't fucking bother. Just fucking deal with a life without plants, all right? Because you're all annoying the fucking... Just annoying the piss out of everyone. Out of fucking everyone. Okay. Now, we have a whole list of places that are assholes. And places with the most assholes. Okay. Three places. Just big... Areas, big giant chunks that are assholes, okay? North and South Dakota are both assholes. What do you find in either one of them? Mount Rushmore. Why the fuck is Mount Rushmore there? I'll give you a little history lesson. You know why Mount Rushmore is there? Because this stupid ass artist, like a hundred fucking years ago, wanted to make this giant monument that he got paid like 200 grand for. So he wanted to put up Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, all of them historically important. They all actually fucking did something. But guess who his best friend was? Teddy Roosevelt. That's why he's up there. An asshole president who never did anything. That's why Teddy Roosevelt is on Mount Rushmore. He's an asshole. The artist was an asshole. Yes. 
North and South Dakota are assholes. You go in there, you go into either one of those fucking states. What's there? What the fuck is there? It's like, come to North and South Dakota. You know, yeah, they get you to go there and go, ha ha, you're an asshole because you came to this asshole place. All right? Well, now I'm going to give you the top 10, the top fucking 10. You can research this shit. These are the top 10 asshole cities of the United States. Coming in at number 10, Sacramento, California. The capital, what else is new? Capitals of every fucking state are full of assholes. They suck. The places themselves are assholes. Coming in at number 9, Anaheim, California. Home to Disneyland. Disneyland. I went to fucking Disneyland twice. After two and a half hours, I thought I was going to kill myself. If I saw one more fucking Mickey and Goofy or whatever the fuck, Minnie and all this shit, I was going to start going on a fucking shooting spree. Jesus Christ. God damn it. Coming in at number eight, Wilmington, Delaware. Delaware is an asshole. Forget about the fucking, forget about Wilmington. They're all ass. All those cities are assholes. Any, if you, anything in Delaware is an asshole. Coming in at... Number seven, Albany, New York, also a capital, also disgusting, also an asshole. Coming in at number six, Los Angeles, California, full of assholes. Well, that's for sure. I'm a waiter. Yeah, that's exactly what you are. I mean, but I'm an actor. Really? No, it's more like I'm a waiter, but I'm... But I act like an actor in real life. Hmm. No, you're an asshole. You're all fucking assholes. Coming in at number five. Atlantic City, New Jersey. What the fuck point is, does it have? That shitty, dilapidated, disgusting fucking boardwalk and gambling? Jesus Christ, you can go fucking gambling in any one of... Any one of a number of states that are so much fucking cooler than New Jersey. New Jersey, the fucking super fun site of the world. Jesus Christ. God damn, why don't they call it contamination country? God damn it, motherfuckers. Number four, Detroit. All Detroit has ever given us are cars and good soul music. Other than that... That place is a fucking shithole. The place is an asshole. Detroit's an asshole. It's an asshole. It's an asshole. It's an asshole. It's an asshole. Yes, you. You're an asshole, too. Yes, I am. Coming in at number three, New Haven, Connecticut. <clears throat> Everybody thinks New Haven and all of Connecticut's all full of places like Yale and rich people in Greenwich and New Canaan. Well, what do you know? It doesn't. It's not all so nice. New Haven sucks. The whole fucking state of Connecticut sucks. Oh, I'm from Connecticut. Oh. Get the fuck out of you, Connecticut assholes. Go fuck yourself. Connecticut's an asshole. Snobs. Snobs, exactly. You fucking nasty bastards. I fucking hate you. Stupid fucking snotty cunts. Coming in, number two. Oakland, California. Also disgusting. Also an asshole. Just a bridge right away from beautiful San Francisco. And you know why it's an asshole? Because it can't fucking even come close to San Francisco. It's like, oh, we're right near it, so we're nice. No, you're an asshole. You're an asshole fucking, you know. Jesus Christ, the fucking Oakland Raiders. Is that what, you, is that what your claim to fame is? Because you're not known for anything but the Oakland Raiders and fucking forest fires, for Christ's sake. Stupid yeah, exactly. asses. Coming in at number one. Newark, New Jersey. Can you think of a place that's more of an asshole than Newark, New Jersey? Fucking no. 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 It's about crack hoes, getting crack, crystal meth, getting yourself fucking killed, getting yourself raped. God damn it. What the fuck is wrong with all you people? So this is my list of people places, and yes, even things can be assholes. Thank you so much for joining us for episode 25 of Rage Against the Wretched. Thank you for joining us. And in closing, once again, I'm going to ask people not to be assholes. Please hit the subscribe button. It's not difficult. It's not going to annoy you. And hit the little bell. 
All this does is then tell don't you. Don't to give a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up too if you like the show. Oh, and if you're an asshole, give a thumbs down. Yeah, if you're an asshole, you know something. If you're an asshole, keep your thumbs down to yourself. Exactly. You, you just, just shut up. I don't want to fucking hear about it. I don't want to hear my show sucks. My show's awesome. I know my show's awesome, and everybody that watches it knows that it's awesome. So if yes. you don't watch it, then you're an asshole too. So remember, subscribe, like. And hit the little bell. All that hitting that bell is going to do is give you one notification that a new show is out. It's not going to remind you every five minutes or okay. even every day. It's going to tell you one time, one little beep, one little squeak, one whatever the yeah. fuck your phone does. All right? Thank you so much. And once again, thank you for joining us.